Now we are going to talk about one of the very important transaction, ME87. So this transaction is used to summarize PO history. So this basically tells you what are the PO history. That means the goods receipt that has been entered the, for the particular PO or the invoice receipt that is, has been answer, entered or the credit memos that has been entered. And here you can see in a mass way so if you if you just execute okay and here suppose i double click on it okay and here it will show me the material document as this is the material document which is the goods receipt if you see this is the movement type and this is the invoice receipt so if i click on this it will take me to the invoice receipt and if i click on this it will take me to the goods receipt if you notice this is the thing uh, here is the goods receipt if I click on this so so once it opens up let me yeah so here you can see this is this, this is an old invoice and all those things so now this is useful because what it is doing I don't need to click on each uh, so here it says two records and all those things and if you want you can just see PO history old okay uh, PO history new it does it's more or less the same okay but here you can see all these records so so many so let's check this one which has six entries okay so I double click on it okay and for some reason this shows it has let me see all the yeah, now it says so you need to be a little bit careful. I was probably you have to click on that exact one. So if I click on here, it's it's a little messy. So if I go click here, PO history new, it shows this two entries, but it has six entries here. Oh, there's something wrong. Let's see, probably this also have two entries, but before it showed six entries. Is this the one? This has two entries. Mm, summarization and removal. So probably if I click on this, this also shows two entries. So here you can get all these details at one go. So uh, what it does, it prevents you from going to every purchase order one by one to check the purchase order history. In K, in this way, you can check for everything. Now let's see if we go outside this transaction. You can put a purchasing group check. You can you can check for purchase organization. You can check for plant and all those things. So it's pretty strong. And in this way, you can see um, see all the uh, invoices and goods receipt at one place for multiple purchase order based on plant, purchase organization, supplier, material, purchasing document. So it's pretty useful. So this the transaction code was ME87.